Hi foodies, let's make some Rasta pasta here with jerk shrimp. How about that? Come on in, let's make this one, two, three, one pot meal. Let's get started. So here foodies is my frozen shrimp. I want to add some salt to that and I want to add some milk. Yep, that same milk that you drink with your cereal. And we're gonna let that sit there for a good five minutes so it will bring the freshness back. And then we're gonna wash this with our lemon juice and some more salt and give it a little marinade. So this looks really nice. So here I have some fish seasoning I want to add a little bit. And in here is some jerk mild. I like to use the walker's wood. So I'm just gonna add this in and let's marinate this for a good 20 minutes. Okay, foodies, so I'm gonna use the bow ties. I'm gonna add the bow ties into the boiling water and I want to add some salt for seasoning and we're going to boil the bow tie so here foodies you can put anything in your rasta pasta actually I am going to be using one celery stock I have a bell, sweet mini sweet peppers I have two three different colors here this is pimento peppers from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago this has no heat but flavors I'm going to add a piece of the pimento peppers this have heat and I have a shallot or onions. You could add that. I'm going to strip it to some julia and some lovely fresh ginger here. So let me get this all ready. Let's go with some ginger. So this is how I want to do my ginger. Just give them some nice little slice, just like so. Jalapeno. Our mini sweet peppers. We're cutting it down. We're basically cutting everyone of the vegetables the same way and here's that orange pepper now mm. let's not forget that lovely pimento pepper from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago so foodies here is all our lovely vegetables I want to add to my rasta pasta and as for my herbs I have some dill I, I, I absolutely love the flavor of dill so I, it's a very smooth, earthy, a hint of mint flavor. So I'm adding some dill. If you have cilantro or parsley or even basil, that will be marvelous too. But I am only going to be adding dill. Okay, foodies. So while my pasta is boiling, um, let's let's start with the our prawns or shrimp. So let's just add a little bit of that uh, oil. Gentle cook. So just add them in. We already marinated as well with that jerk season so now let's just flip each of them over it's on high heat you want to cook this very quickly same oil i want to add some peas and carrots it's okay this looks about good so now let's just add all our vegetables in there and let's cook this up a little bit too let's mix everybody in let that nice dill just release its flavors in there. Crayfish powder and some basil or basil, whatever name you may add. And we'll be doing some jerk. So it's a jerk rasta pasta with shrimp. So in goes that. And let's just now infuse that really nicely. You could use any pasta. I'm using bow tie. There you go, give that a good mix. I'm going to keep that heat on high. Want that pasta to suck up that flavor of the jerk. So this is why I want to leave it in there, let that suck it up really well before I add my cream. There you go, so that looks nice. Smells great too. To add a little bit of Cajun seasoning, of fish seasoning, anyone you have, just add a little bit to it. So in goes the cream to give it that lovely creaminess and that white look. Raise the heat up on high. There we go. And that is your rasta pasta. So let me just mix this up and we're going to just leave this for two minutes. Okay, my foodies, take a look at that. And that is all done. So we're going to turn the heat off. And now you're going to add in your shrimp. There you go. Just like so. Just put them all around. Your prawns, your shrimp, whatever you're making. You could make boneless uh, chicken breast. You could make beef. There's so many options that you could make your rasta pasta. 
or you could just make vegetarian. Now like I said Rasta don't eat meat and stuff like that, but um, let's add all the juices now from the prawns. Yep, add that in there. And I want to put the lid on and let this stay like this for four minutes. Let's take a look now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Lovely Rasta pasta here from Jenny's Walk. Quick and easy do it, simple and easy. Bold flavors, spicy, and all those lovely goodness of that jerk seasoning here to enjoy. Anytime this you could make a potluck dinner, enjoy. Rasta pasta from Jenny's Walk. Always bringing great flavors to the table. Enjoy.